how's it going? Welcome to another how to film yourself video. I haven't done this in a while, but now I'm gonna be doing them a lot more often. So in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to tell a story with very simple fast paced shots using hard cuts that anybody can do. So for this video, I'm using my usual workflow, which starts from finding the right song. So I went to art list and I browsed the songs until I found the right song that immediately evoked some kind of emotions in me and a certain story in my mind. And the only thing that I'm skipping in this workflow is that I didn't write any kind of a specific shot list like I usually do because I already kind of have the shot list in my mind and the other reason is that I'm not quite sure which angles are gonna work and which angles aren't gonna work so I just figured that I'm gonna go with the flow and see what works and what doesn't so basically the story of the video is gonna be showing my average work day when I'm working at home editing a video condensed into a 30 second sequence. So for the first shot I need a close up of my iPhone's alarm clock going off and I'm gonna have the main camera on this tripod and the behind the scenes camera is right here. Now I need a shot of me waking up, so I'm gonna put my camera here on this tripod and lay on this pillow and open my eyes to show that I'm waking up. But the challenge is that I don't currently own an external monitor to set the manual focus on my eyes and I don't have a flip out screen to monitor the focus. So I'm just gonna have to rely on the autofocus and try it as many times until I get it right. Okay, I know that my so-called beard is very pathetic. But that's exactly why it needs to be shaved and it would fit perfectly the story of my morning routines. So I will be dispensing this shaving gel onto my palm and film a close-up shot of that and add some cool sound effects to enhance the story. So in the beginning I didn't film the opening shot for the whole sequence because I wasn't sure how I'm gonna do it. But now I've come up with an idea and for that I'm gonna be using this C stand and I'm gonna put my camera here on a top down angle and maybe keyframe it to do this zoom down effect. But I'm not sure how well that is actually gonna work, but I will try and see how it will play out. For the 
next shot, I'm filming a time lapse of that clock to showcase the time pass in the story. And I actually closed the blinds on the windows because I wanted to avoid any changes in the lighting and exposure. So that's why I'm using the Landlight Forza 60B set at daylight temperature. And I'm pointing it towards the ceiling to make it bounce all over the room to give that ambient light and kind of like emulate a normal daylight that would be coming through the windows. So for the last part of this video, I'm gonna film myself at the computer editing a video and I'm gonna to try to have as many angles and as much variety as possible to keep the sequence interesting and to keep a lot of things happening so that people will be willing to watch the whole sequence until the end because there's a lot of different things happening. So obviously to tell a great story, you don't need all the fancy equipment. You can just use your tripod and film yourself by yourself. And when you're filming this kind of a sequence where you're using these short hard cuts, sometimes in my opinion, you can even tell a better story and you can tell a lot more when you're keeping things simple. Because when you're using these short hard cuts, it means that you can add a lot more clips into your sequence and there's a lot more going on. And you can focus on the storytelling instead of trying to focus on all these fancy transitions. So here's the final sequence one more time. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, I recommend that you watch other one of these videos somewhere here on the screen because I think you're really gonna enjoy it. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Take care.